I was always going above and beyond. I saved the Scoobies how many times? And I can't stand a lot of you. Me either. I hate us. Everybody's so nice. Nobody says what's on their mind. You do? That's why you're the only one of them I wouldn't buy if I had the chance. Oh. <laughs> really? Absolutely. I have nothing but respect for a woman who's forthright. Drusilla was always straightforward. Didn't have a single buggering clue about what was going on in front of her, but she was great about it. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Revisiting Sunnydale. It's yet another episode. In fact, it's episode 120. We are racking them up here. Sure I'm, are. I'm Camila. I'm Marcella. We are... In uh, quarantine? Well, we're not in quarantine, but we're still doing the Skype thing. I still got quarantine mentality. Yeah. <laughs> so. It's going to be like till 2022 that I'm it's not going to have Yeah, exactly. It's going to be. And, and it's like, you know, also it's about to be winter now. And so it's like, pff, why not just keep this up? Like, where, right. where am I it's going? It's easier. Right. <laughs> <laughs> where am I going in the in the shitty weather? <laughs> so fuck what you heard, man. <laughs> Plus it works. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I get the equipment. It sounds good enough, and so yeah, this is what we're doing, man. Yep. No, I don't have to. You don't have to use up gas. I don't have to clean up the house. It's fine. It's <laughs> we are wearing pants. Just yes, I am. I always we, wear pants. We are wear. We are wearing pants. <laughs> so, um, ways for you to keep up with us while we wear pants uh facebook page revisiting sunnydale twitter at back to sunnydale instagram rvs underscore podcast and the actual website which do people still have i don't know but we do revisiting sunnydale.com that's where you'll find all of the stuff about the, the podcast and all of the episodes and all that stuff you know in case you get a hub if you will yes in case you get flustered about it. and we and i keep trying to like find like cool and, and interesting things that other blogs or something to put on their lists or something but alas i have uh failed in that arena but there <laughs> and we, are we put it all on the facebook page anyway right because it's so much easier that way mm -hmm. <laughs> click mm -hmm. sh share click post um and uh, you can find the podcast to rate and follow and review and subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Libsyn, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, Google Podcasts, and Player FM. All of the ways. So get in where you fit in. Mm-hmm. Have you got any any new, interesting, anything, any hot topics to... to yes, share? I have one that kind of goes along with our witchy friends. And that is, the have you craft. watched the trailer I posted for the remake of The Craft? <sighs> yes. And how did you feel about it? I'm going to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> like, of course. Of course I'm going to watch it. Uh, right, like, right, right, right. Um, it may be a minute, like, depending upon, like, how much it costs, but, like, how much I decide to spend on me watching it. I think it. it's free on Amazon. It's what? an Amazon movie, I oh, think. Oh, it's really? It's an Amazon Prime original. Oh, I, I missed that part. Um, yeah. Yeah, so I'm going sure. to watch it, but I'm definitely not going into this space with, like, a was like a loving <laughs> heart with free free of judgment because I'm going to be looking at it side I'm going to watch it through side eye the entire yeah. time <laughs> well when I was watching the trailer I was like oh my god oh my god uh, okay all right kind of settled in hand on you know chin uh, I was like okay I'm with you all right I'm interested Nancy yeah uh, now you got me yeah I mean I was I'm a I don't know. Like at first, when I saw that, it, I saw it popped up like on my IMDb, and I was like, "Oh shit, that's just a they're making a remake of the craft." And then I watched the trailer. I was like, "Oh, it's a sequel, not a remake." But why does it look basically like a remake? Like you know, right. why do we just have like this token yeah. black girl again? Um, mm -hmm. So, but I gotta say, the most interesting thing I found out of this the trailer was the fact that David Duchovny was in it. And, right. And you know, I don't know. And Michelle Monaghan for a for uh, I mean, she doesn't. She usually does bigger things. Yeah, I was a little surprised. David Duchovny, I was just like, you, you're still a thing. And I don't know why I, I have this. I mean, I think I slight. I kind of know why. Like, there's a slight attraction I have to David Duchovny, and it's weird mm -hmm. for me because he's not 
just to look at him. I mean, he's not he's he's not aging well for one. No, <laughs> but he has what I like to call big dick energy. <laughs> and if, and it's yeah, and so that and he reminds me of somebody from a, <laughs> a friend of mine. And he was exudes. once just... once a, a thing of the past, mm-hmm. but we mm-hmm. are friends to this day. So that, I think that plays into a reason why I yeah. gravitate towards David Duchovny. And he's all right. He's got a certain something. Right, right, right. Yeah, I mean, you could more than likely, I'm sure he could talk his way into my underwear. Oh, so. I'm sure. <laughs> With just a phrase. Right. Not and probably not have to work that hard. It's and no. it's 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 weird. So I'll be watching it. <clears throat> yeah, I will watch it as well and uh, come back with reports. I mean, I'm again, we watch it through side eye, judging it hard. We'll see where I come out on the other side. Mm-hmm. But it is October and I love to watch scary movies in October. So, yeah, we'll and it would, it would be nice to find something new. Yeah, <laughs> Just, like because I'm kind of like I've gone through everything, something new and something good. Did you watch The harmony. Babysitter yet? No. on netflix no i mean i'm re- no i have a real problem i just these i am getting to the age where it's like i can't there i can't i can only watch so many teen movies mm-hmm. like movies where that are like grab that are geared toward teenagers that are starring teenagers that i don't know who the fuck they are but mm-hmm. like, and like and the, the way teenagers look these days like <laughs> it's, <laughs> i just well it is it's, it's a mick g movie Oh, okay. So there's that. Right. <laughs> Which is like, well, let me sign in for this possible shit show. Right, yeah. But they, there are two of them. There's the babysitter yeah. and then there's uh, Killer Queen. Right. They were both a very good time. Really? They were incredibly violent, like shocking levels of violence where you're just like, oh, holy shit. <laughs> like actual cover your eyes moments. Uh-huh. <laughs> but they were funny. Hmm. And I really enjoyed both of them. Speaking of, of weird weirdness, I saw a trailer the other day for a new movie coming out, I think in November, called Freaky. Have you seen this trailer? No. Starring Vince Vaughn and some teenage girl that I, I don't like. I've seen her and stuff, but I don't know her name. Um, <laughs> but it's the premise of Freaky Friday, but with this, this random, like, nobody high school girl and a serial killer who is Vince Vaughn. It That's looks amazing. right. It looks really good. Like, I mean, like, it look, it's like a real dark humor happening. And I, okay. I want to see it. Like, okay. I, mean, it I could be into that. <laughs> it's like, you know, the typical Vince Vaughn business. Mm-hmm. And it's like, you know, watching. I enjoy sometimes like watching grown men act like teenage girls. Like, you know, Jack Black in <laughs> In, in, a, in Jumanji, yeah, in Jumanji. So, <laughs> so that's it's or that, that even same energy. Old school Rob Schneider in right. <laughs> what, was it, what was it called? Because that was just on. T- that was just on TV the other day, and I abs- I watched more of it than I thought I was going to. <laughs> because it's really funny, right? Oh God, what is it called though? The because Rachel McAdams is in it. Yeah, one of the girls, uh, or no, that's uh, Mean Girl. No. No, all I can think of is the animal. And hot chick, it. hot chick. Yeah. Yes, the hot chick. Mm-hmm. It's so funny. It's just it is. ridiculously fu- Anna Faris. T- yeah, it's just a good cast too. Right. So yeah. So that's like kind of those vibes. Okay. <laughs> so I'm into it. I'll, I'll check it out. I'll, I'll, I'll check it out. But that's not why we're here today. It's the bed, the bed, the ba. Today we're talking about <laughs> season six, episode eighteen, Entropy. Original air date April thirtieth, two thousand two. Written by Drew Z. Greenberg. Directed by James A. Conter. Anya returns to Sunnydale, bent on revenge for Xander, leaving her at the altar. She has since become a vengeance demon again, but ends up hurting Xander in a way she never expected. Dun dun dun. And while we're talking about um, directors and stuff like that, just Coincidentally enough, I have another podcast that I'm on called The Number One Movie in America. I've probably mentioned it. And so last week we talked about Norm. Was it last week that was normal again? Yeah. Or was it the week before? Um, last week. Yeah. Last episode was normal again, which was directed by a Rosenthal, somebody, somebody Rosenthal, which I was very intrigued by. And then coincidentally enough, we picked movies on my other podcast at random. We did halloween 2 and he directed that one as well that is really yeah so i thought that was pretty neat that is neat was it a good movie i feel like 
if you're going to watch how if you're going to watch part two you need to watch the first one right up gotcha. like you need to watch one and two back to back because it picks up like exactly like maybe an hour after <laughs> the okay. Halloween. i still one. need to watch the sequel dude the new one where she's old like the whole choose your own adventure bu- bullshit with this with this franchise with the halloween franchise <laughs> right it's so dumb so dumb. like i actually liked h2o i yeah. know it, some people think it was trash but i didn't mind i it. got a thing for josh hartnett and I, I liked it right yeah i didn't mind it. and i thought it was also cute like the little shout out to the fact that um jamie lee curtis's mom was in there mm-hmm. too janet mm-hmm. lee um but, yeah. but now we're just gonna retcon and act like none of that happened. Yeah, you can't. Like Terminator does the same thing. Stop retconning stuff. Yeah. So like, yeah, I guess if you're going to, if you want to keep it, like, you just watch the first Halloween and then that one. That's what it's okay. supposed to be. Like everything else means nothing. <laughs> has has not that. happened. Yeah, it's so dumb. You can't just pretend like something didn't exist, right? Because I that I found that out whenever that newer one came out i was like oh it'll be cool i'll go ahead and go on this journey and i started watching i watched one and i watched two and then i was like <clears throat> i couldn't find a a clear-cut answer about anything like this and this was like me not knowing really anything about the rest of the franchise and so i asked twitter or whomever or facebook and i was like hey what's the order like how blah 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 where does this fit in and then i started getting all these just like i'm like you know what never mind i don't care <laughs> like no <laughs> I, I quit <laughs> forget it i don't even want to know nope uh you you, you, that's like fast and furious stop putting your shit out of order like just that that one movie is just it messes everything up yeah i think the last fast and furious i watched was the one that paul walker was dead in that he died while they were shooting it or Mm -hmm. uh, so but i do really want to i still need to watch hobbs and shaw but anyway I like Thompson Shaw. Important guest stars, co-stars, Amber Benson, Danny, Adam, and Tom, you know, the, the usual crew. We also have Kelly Rocha, Roca as Halfrick in this episode. I love her so much. I know. She's great. She brings a certain bit of levity to the show when she's on. Yeah. I totes appreciate her. Um, but this week we're starting out a week. It's been, what, a week since Buffy tried to kill everyone about- and the stupid trio... Where do they get their wonderful toys? I don't know. Because man. they're all driving around on ATVs in the cemetery chasing vampires. Yeah. They're just chasing vampires and they've got like stakes on the end of them, on the end of their ATVs. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess that, you know, they just, they've stolen enough money that, you know, now they just go buy the stuff. They're just Amazon. Right. And. <laughs> leaving paper trails everywhere right unless they're buying it under some fake name but they're they need a disc that one of the vampires is carrying and oh, that's why they're chasing them i totally yeah. missed that i was like what are they even doing <laughs> there's yeah they need this disc and buffy interrupts that buffy doesn't see them she just sees these vampires which i don't know why she doesn't wonder why these vampires were running for their lives yeah you think they're just out for a quick jog in the night in the right. cemetery? no <laughs> they weren't running then they were like running towards her and her, her direction. right and so yeah and not in a menacing way and oh my god i need to flee for my life kind of way right <laughs> and one of them drops the disc and of course warren's just like well <laughs> just hold on and he kind of sneaks in and picks up the disc and they take off and Buffy is left to fight these two vamps, not entirely on her own, because our favorite vampire shows up. Spike shows up and he like snatches one up like he's like up on a pole or something. I don't know, on a ma- mausoleum or something. Ma- yeah, I think he's sitting on the roof of the mausoleum <laughs> and looking snatches- all sexy. Yeah, like he's this is this is on un- this is upper level sexy for him. Like I, this mm-hmm. is like probably the best. I don't know if we just got somebody special in to do lighting for this episode because he's looking very nice in this yes and he snatches although i do have to say he looks very aged as well like he looks mainly like maybe that's this is not the same spike the the baby that joined the show this is a 40 year old man oh maybe that's it maybe he just looks a little (laughs) bit more rugged manly yeah Mm -hmm. a little more aged and uh, Mm -hmm. experienced if you will Yes. So he snatches up one of these vampires and then he starts taunting Buffy with it. Just like, you know, hey, I'll help you out. Kill this guy for you. If you tell your friends that we've been boinking. Like, really? And she says no. (laughs) And uh, I'm not doing it. This is what I don't understand. Like, she's like, no, I'm not going to do it. And then she's like, 
then the same breath. She's like, go ahead, tell them. Like, I tried to murder everybody last week and, you know, they still love me. Like, nobody nobody cares. So they'll probably won't bat an eye if they learn. So, yeah. what? So either. And Spike's confused as well. He's like, well, if that's the case, then why won't you sleep with me again? Right. <laughs> and the vampire is like, what the fuck? <laughs> he, like, he's running because. Spike drops him and he's running towards Buffy. And when Spike says that, he stops and turns around like, you. Like, what? <laughs> you did what? <laughs> so now he knows that Buffy and Spike are sleeping together. And conveniently for them, she stakes him. So now it's still just the two of them. And she just responds with, she doesn't love him. That's why she won't sleep with him. He, you don't have to love him you're not angel you don't have a curse like right. you're not gonna lose your soul buffy exactly there is such a thing as a fuck buddy yeah exactly and it's like i can understand before like she was like it was all killing her she's like i'm using you whatever okay so you've told him all this now you've told him the truth you mm-hmm. you don't love him you were using him he still seems to be okay with it so <laughs> <He's> cool with <laughs> it <laughs> So if he knows the emotional issue is his, <laughs> right? So you've laid it all out there for him. If he, he's like, these are these are the things that's happening. This is how this works. And he's if he's still like, cool, bet we can still do this, right? Then okay, game on. In the meantime, Xander is in a bad way, drinking on the floor alone, listening to Wallowing. sad sack music. Oh, it's my favorite. I love this song so much. It is actually my song of the week. It's Sal even... Hello Rain by Tom McRae. It's a real song? <laughs> it's a real song. You can find it on Amazon Music. Just ask. You know who. <laughs> Always listening. Always listening. <laughs> Always listening. <laughs> I can't say it. <laughs> uh, so Xander goes off and, I don't know, it's like walking, walking the streets of Sunnydale, like looking for trouble, hookers, more booze. I don't know. But <laughs> when he, he walks past without knowing, he walks past Anya, who's like lurking in the bushes and watching him. Which is creepy in itself. What are you doing? Right. <laughs> That's not you. You're confident and you're in people's face. Just right. confront him. So it doesn't that, make any sense. I know. So we come back to uh, Willow and Tara. I finally Willow really does have stupid things on all of her shirts. Yeah, and this just goes on for a long time. I don't know why. <laughs> this scene does go on for a really long time. It's cute. It's cute. They are flirty and they're, you know. Tara's like extra, like really this is a little out of character for Tara. It is. Like she's much she's more she's very confident, confident and flirty. <laughs> like I, I guess it's different when she knows that she's the one holding all the cards. Right. Now <clears throat> her hair looks very pretty too. Mm-hmm. And they've agreed that they're going to go for coffee yes. after class tomorrow. Radio. Which, yay. <laughs> Which, yes. We're, I'm here for it. Yeah. Our Summers girls have decided to go on a window shopping date because Don can't go in anywhere. So Don has been fucking klepto Don is stolen from just like every store on Sunnydale Square. <laughs> so. And strange things. She stole a toothbrush. Yes, but it was mother of pearl handle. <laughs> Still a toothbrush. <laughs> but what, and I, if it was mother of pearl handle, it probably had a security tag. How are you getting out of these places? That jacket still had the security tag on it. White woman. That she gave her for her birthday. True. <laughs> uh, True story. They probably tackled a poor black lady as right. Dawn was walking out. The exactly. <laughs> so oh, I'm, I'm assuming that, you know... <sighs> I can't imagine. I guess she didn't get caught. Maybe she got caught some of the time. and or But I guess what we kind of get is that Buffy made her take everything back that she still had and go apologize to these places. and Yeah. Or pay for stuff that she didn't have. Blah, blah, blah. Did you notice the awkward extras walking directly behind Buffy and Dawn? They're walking. Buffy and Dawn are walking so slow. So this couple is walking really slow. And they're kind of spaced perfectly between them. So they're on camera. They must have won like some kind of contest to be on screen. And they're trying hard not to look (laughs) at the camera. It's a little awkward. It is. That's that's crazy. What I find also awkward is like the um, how large this old Navy is that they're walking past. Because every (laughs) time we cut 
to a close up of Dawn, we pass the door again or we pass yes. an old navy sign. <laughs> <laughs> it's really and really there's an old navy in Sunnydale. I've never seen it before. I've never seen the shopping mall before. I've never, where yeah, is, I've where never, are they? I know this isn't like the normal place where like the espresso pump or wherever no. it is. And you're right, this couple is extremely awkward. Like the way that Aren't this they? guy is holding his hand his arm for her to have her, yes. cro- her, her, her hand in the crook of his arm. It's very Those weird and uncomfortable. Don't know each other. <laughs> right. And it's the so smile awkward. on the smile on his face is sadistic. The, this would su- I would su- this suggest that he is a robot. <laughs> you guys have to go back and watch this scene. I'm telling you it's really really strange. <laughs> And if you're listening and you were that extra, I'm sorry. That is, that's the choice you made that day. <laughs> and it came off as creepy. Right. And it will live on now forever and ever. Mm-hmm. You did mm-hmm. it to yourself. <laughs> yep. The trio is in the basement and working on this disc and they're being all trio-y. They're such losers. And poor Jonathan, you can kind of tell that he's he's not really okay with any of this anymore. You can see it, but he doesn't really know how to get out of it. Right. He's like doing his his chemistry magic because whatever their plan is next, we need it. So they're waiting. Like Warren is like hovering over him and Jonathan's like, okay, great. We do this last thing we get. I'm assuming they're getting some monies and he's like, we split our cut. We, we divvy up evenly. And then we're, we go our separate ways. I never have to see you bitches again. So he's mm-hmm. he's he's done and over with all of this. And Warren's like, oh, fiends like his feelings are hurt. It's like, oh, you're ready to get rid of. Yeah, I'm done. So in the background, Warren and John, or Andrew start. Because apparently they are looking to get they're going to be getting rid of Jonathan. Yeah, he's out. And Warren is basically saying, you know, how, you know, Andrew has asked him how soon, how soon is he going to be out? <laughs> and he's like, how long is the milk's expiration date in the fridge yeah exactly when does the milk when the, when does the milk in the fridge expire <laughs> and, and andrew goes into this really long explanation about when it was bought and probably two weeks after that and you can see just the exasperation on warren's face <laughs> i'm just saying it's soon it'll be soon he was like never mind i was trying to do a thing and you know it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty it's gold it's yeah. pretty gold Come they in. do crack me up and Xander returns home to find Anya at his dining room table. He's like, oh my God, Anya's there. Hey, what's up? And Anya is very, she's flustered. and She's flustered. She's hurt. She's yeah. angry. She's got a lot of emotions, a lot of negative emotions just like built up upon her. And, you know, and I can't imagine that it's easy for her to be in front of him again after what she's been through. And he basically, he... <sighs> half ass or like fucks up a, a, an apology some kind of way like i don't know what he's trying to explain or mm-hmm. or pull this is just a mess of an apology it is a mess and she's on this emotional roller coaster you can see it in her face and like they're starting to come together like he's half ass apologizing they're getting closer and closer together and then he says something about being able to have spared her all this pain mm-hmm. and she's like well now hold on a damn minute what do you mean right she starts to back away from him and they get further and further apart yeah and because he says something because he says all i had to do was say something sooner and i could have spared you from that nightmare and then she's like i need clarification on that like what do you mean like that say something about what and then he just starts bumbling and Mm -hmm. and like no what i meant was she's like no no say what like she like what about what what she just wants a straight answer Mm -hmm. and he can't give it to her no she keeps asking him flat out do yeah. you want to get married right and he's uh, like someday when we're ready no bitch that's not no <laughs> this is what we're into it so it's just <sighs> and then she gets mad yeah like real mad he's like i'm just trying to be honest with you oh and then she's <gasps> then she pulls like oh now's a great time for that <laughs> like, congratulations <laughs> like wait she gets real pissed real real pissed it's just and she like, turns her back and you know she's still yelling kind of angry you know at him and her face just hello demon right because he says that i wish i could take it all back and then she's like i wish that you had never been born 
And that's when she changes to it. That's the reveal that she's a vengeance demon again. But I want to know, it just doesn't make sense to me. It's like, what in what world does a man leave his woman at the altar and right. then expect to go back to dating them? Right. Like, that's... That's that's not how Lifetime movies work. No. Like, none of... No, that's not... It, there's, you know, maybe... If you're lucky, you have a conversation together and come to the decision at the like day of the wedding. It's like, okay, so I guess we're not really ready. Like, But right. even then... You're not going to date. No, I can't imagine any woman in the world mm-hmm. who put all the time and energy. And you know what? And, and probably I would imagine if to be left at the altar or for your wedding day to be canceled on wedding day, for your wedding to be canceled, <clears throat> it doesn't even have to be like all the emotion, all the anger, all the fucking frustration. It may not even be, most of it may not even be tied into how much she loves that man. It's more. <laughs> The fact of like the, time, the, the amount of time and energy mm-hmm. that I have wasted mm-hmm. on this entire um, fucking circus, yep. <laughs> and not just not just the service. Now she's thinking the entire time I wasted on this relationship. This was right? like, why, 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 why? Then when we come back, she keeps saying all of these things that she wishes, and he's just like, "Me too, me too." <laughs> I'm so sorry, and she's like, "No, no." She is actually trying to wish all of these things on him and it's not working. Right. She At one point, she wishes that his intestines were like tied up in knots or something like that. And he's like, they are. She's like, really? Yeah. <laughs> he's like, yes. <laughs> She's like, no, it's not. You're not pain at all. <laughs> it's like, I'm not talking about metaphorically. <laughs> I need real pain. <laughs> and she meets up the next day with Hal Freck, who is just over the moon about whatever she's done to some guy and he's now covered in like a thousand little bandages she's so happy about it yes and this is that's not anything but it's just she's it's this guy who has missed child support payments and so now anytime he touches a piece of paper that's not a check to the child for child support he gets paper cuts i hope halfrick is talking about hank summers right (laughs) he should be covered in tiny little cuts because who's paying for these kids honestly i really do wonder who is paying like there's no way that joyce's insurance kept up the house probably wasn't paid off no as many times as buffy wrecked it she probably had a second mortgage (laughs) probably who's paying for the light bill i know giles bailed her out but how much did giles bail her out how much money yeah how much money you got giles and seriously, I saw somebody in a Facebook group wonder why Giles didn't come to the wedding. <laughs> and if he had cut, they asked, if he had come to the wedding, do you think he would have talked Xander out of running away? No, because Xander would have never mentioned the plan to run away to anybody. No, no. Uh, Giles wouldn't have known just like everybody else. But it is a good question why Giles wasn't there. Yeah, I was wondering that, too. Um and there's still a never any, I don't even think when he does come back, there's no real mention of like, you missed my wedding, my non-wedding dick. Right? <laughs> you didn't invite me, dick. <laughs> 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 so Halfrak informs Anya, you know, because Anya tells her that she tried to do vengeance on Xander herself. And she's like, oh, silly rabbit. <laughs> you can't do vengeance for your own benefit. Like, you, know better you need to get that. somebody else to do it. You know better than that. And I'm wondering if, because Anya's hair in the previous scene with Xander was very cute. And this scene, I feel like her rage has curled her hair. Yes. Like, this really Maximum good. curl. Because <laughs> it's, it's extremely tight and I don't like it. I don't like this Mm-mm. look on her. I do like her in red, though. Red's a good color for her. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So Anya's like, oh, shit. Okay, great. So I can't do it. I can't wish it myself. So I now I have to find somebody else to do it. And uh, for whatever reason. But she also makes the point that her circle of friends is very small. But she thinks that his buddies, his BFFs, are going to be the ones to do that for him. And, then and we he- get a great montage. <laughs> Yeah, but also I think like before that though, in the meantime, Buffy is trying to make up for murdering her sister by giving her all of the breakfast foods. Yeah, so many breakfast foods. She is cooked like an actual beautiful little breakfast for her. Pancakes, fruit salad. Mm -hmm. She's got three different kinds of syrup, possibly 
four. I love questions. Like when she's asked Don, what kind of syrup do you want? Don's like syrup, have, <laughs> syrups have kinds. <laughs> right. <laughs> Why are there so many? And there, there are, there are four different kinds. She's got out three boxes of cereal. She's trying to make her eat all the carbs by giving her <laughs> toast and pancakes. Right. It doesn't, it's not how that works. And Don is like, Buffy, I'm going to be okay with the basement thing. I'm not going to tell the social worker <laughs> <laughs> who should still be kept, like checking in every yeah, now and again. Yeah. <laughs> Whoever lit this episode did a really good job. Everybody's like glowing. Dawn looks all young and dewy. Her highlighter is just popping off her cheeks. It's a really well lit episode for once. Yeah, it is. But, and also Dawn has like reached maximum puberty at this point. Yeah, she's like she has. She's like six more inches taller than Buffy. Which in speaking of which, she says to Buffy, you know, you want to hang out with me? How about I come on patrol with you? Which, you know, uh, Buffy, Willow, Xander, Cordelia, all patrolling by the time Oz, all by the time. Yep. Dawn is the age she is now. And Buffy doesn't want to let her come. She's like, I spend all my time trying to protect you from evil, blah, blah, blah. And Dawn has a very sound argument of the fact that, uh, listen, you're the slayer. Always going to be around it. Wouldn't it be better if I knew how to protect myself? Yes. Yes, it would. Yes. (laughs) Yeah. It is absolutely true. (laughs) Tara and willow's precious little conversation at the espresso pump she's telling her the story of wig lady at the double meat palace this is like one of two burns that i had (laughs) and she's like and she just goes on to be like and she's like and this thing just like comes out of her head and tara's like ew gross what did it look like and willow goes let's just put it this way if i wasn't gay before (laughs) such a good burn yes that is true willow (laughs) <laughs> and they look cute and they're having such a cute little coffee date and mm. here comes Anya and Willow's so happy to see her she hops up and gives her a hug immediately Which, wow that's y'all that's ain't that a, close no but I guess she's still on this high with Tara mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah it does, it's down, very I'm out not of sure pl- they like each other it's very out of place for for Willow to have hugged her I Tara mm-hmm. would have hugged her that would have made more sense yeah because they're they have a closer connection of being on the outside of the Scooby Gang and right. hiding in Giles' base uh, bathroom. Right, exactly. Or remember that in the robot episode, for whatever reason, they were walking together talking yeah. about Anya's money. <laughs> yeah, because they were just. It should have been Tara that hugged her. Yeah. So yeah, so but now... this kind of kicks off the montage scenes of Anya trying to get revenge. What I find funny is that. She starts off with like, you guys are lesbians. Let's talk about how much you hate men. (laughs) What? (laughs) Willow mentions, you know, at one point that we're not really about the hatred of men. We're just more about the girl on girl action. Right. (laughs) And then Nanya's like, which men like to watch and men like Xander. And that (laughs) makes you angry, right? (laughs) And they're not really giving her anything back. She tries with Dawn, but Dawn won't even use the word wish. It is persona non grata with her. (laughs) And Buffy, I don't even know why she tried Buffy. Buffy Buffy that would have been an off-starter for me. The last person, the last person who would do that. Right. And so all of this leads her to the first person it should have taken her to. Yeah, yeah. Like, yes, your circle is very small, but still, girl, come on now. You got one very obvious choice that you could have gone to right off the bat and saved yourself all this time. Right. So as she's, like, talking to Buffy about, as she's trying to get Buffy to make a wish, she's becoming more and more frustrated and furious about how, you know, he's like, you know what? Fuck you guys. Like, yes, okay, I'm getting nowhere. And then Xander just happens to show up and he's like, Hey, what are you doing here? And she's like, you know what? Congratulations. Even though you're a fucking asshole, everybody still loves you and you know, whatever. So peace out. She gets real pissed. Mm -hmm. And then so while Xander, he gets ready to go and go after her and Buffy's like nah now's not the time he has a little temper tantrum and then kicks over a garden gnome and breaks it and this is my other burn <laughs> which 
I fucking love it. This is actually really. This, this is, is like this funny. is the real one, like for real, for real. <laughs> <laughs> so Buffy notices it. She's like, "What the hell is that creepy little thing doing in my yard? Did Willow put that there when I was dead? Because I, because had I known, I would have crawled out of the grave sooner." <laughs> It is a creepy little gnome too. She, but Xander like kicked the head off of it. Yeah. <laughs> Which, hey man, <laughs> don't go to go to your house and destroy your shit. Right. What if it was something that like her mom put there and her mom right. loved and cherished? That was <laughs> rude. It's like one of her last wishes. Don't get rid of my garden gnomes. <laughs> and they find a camera in it, and for whatever reason. Me, personally, I would have been like, okay, those fucking nerds. Right. Who's got tech skills? Who right. are who's, nerds? Who's been doing fucking with you for weeks? Right. Who was doing surveillance on you when you... But no. Xander thinks it's Spike. Which... Just he be- thinks Spike has enough... Talent? <laughs> to... Put a camera. Have we ever her? have we ever seen Spike with anything more technical than a lighter than a Zippo? Like a TV with rabbit ears. Right, right. It didn't even have a remote control. No, no, no. Like Spike is very, very low tech. He's a luddite, if you will. Mm-hmm. I would, I would, I would, I would, I would, I would <laughs> wait, wager. Say. Yes. <laughs> and even he's like, really. <laughs> You thought I did this? <laughs> like, He's like, fuck, I know I love you, but come on. He's like, come on, son. <laughs> come on. Come on, son. <laughs> you know better than I don't that. know how she gets through these conversations and still manages to walk out the door. Yeah, because he, every... He's undressing her and basically eye fucking her the entire mm-hmm. time, no matter what the conversation is about. <laughs> this is what's happening, and you're right. This is... It's all and then much. he pours his heart out. He's wearing a paisley shirt. Uh-huh. <laughs> he is wearing a, the actual definition of a paisley. <laughs> and it's terrible. It's really terrible. But he's also had a manicure. His nails are very nice and clean. And Oh, my God. What's really funny about it is she thinks you know, he's just like, I don't even know what this is. <laughs> Do you think I, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> and I do the, a mini burn there. She says, you know, Xander said that he must have, and he's like, shut her gasp. It must be true. <laughs> right. <laughs> Clutch the pearls. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. we do have, this is a good, this is a good scene. It is a, such a good scene. Because, you know, she's still like you know stop you know i know you're in love blah 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 and then he's like he again pours his heart out and is like something happened to me something changed you know i love you and all that it's different no matter how hard you try to convince yourself that it isn't like this is still a thing Mm -hmm. you know uh and And he may do a lot of things but he doesn't hurt her right and she's just like yeah 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 i know this isn't what you want to hear but you know, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, get out. Yeah. Like, that's what, like, because he's like, you know, this is real. And she's like, I know it is for you, but it's not for me. <laughs> she's like, and she starts to like, with the whole, I know it's not what you want to hear, but I'm sorry. I really am. And then he growls like, mm-hmm. get out. <laughs> he gives know. her that look. And I'm like, oh, hello. We haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> she's like, yeah, you have to get over it. Yeah, and he's just and like she kind of sucks her teeth like well fine <laughs> <laughs> i guess i'll go <laughs> what were you expecting buffy it's right <laughs> of course he was going to kick you out <clears throat> so uh, anya goes back to halfrick and is, tells her that she basically failed at this and again like anya <laughs> Alfred is just like, why am I? Here? What do I have to do all of the work? Right. <laughs> what? Why would you go to his friends? <laughs> you have to find someone who hates him. <laughs> and ding, ding, ding. 
bell ringing yep. literally yep. bell rings and income spike my boy walks in she's like holy shit snacks this is right this is this feels good so this is where we'll go spike's looking for some sort of spells for numbing he wants to numb the love pain and i'm really upset that halfrick and spike are in the same room again and we still don't mm-hmm. talk about cecily and william nope and they're looking at, she's looking at him too. Like she hard. knows who he, you know, she's like, well, I'll just be going. But he barely like glances at her. Yeah. He's just like, oh, hmm. uh-huh. which, ah, there's just so much mis- missed, missed story yeah. here. It uh, drives me insane. And I don't know why that we didn't do it. Just a little something. I know we have bigger arcs to, to fry right. on here, but still just something. I just need a little bit, just a oh, something more. And we're not stupid. Right. <laughs> we're not dumb we like know. I could, it, don't make me just look at her and be like oh it's just the same actress like, right no it <sighs> right there could have been i want the backstory i want to know why cecily became how right exactly and it and there could have or there could have been something where you know while spike is going through all this turmoil with buffy that he just like flips the fuck out one day and just like you know maybe he was playing it cool all this time about he didn't know who she was but like you were the first one who broke you know like his you whole shit on me first right like his whole <laughs> breakdown when he had drusilla and buffy mm-hmm. tied up together and you wouldn't have been able to touch me <laughs> you dead penny about it <laughs> <laughs> And so Anya is super excited. She's like, oh, my God, Spike hates Xander. <laughs> yes. So she's like, I don't have a spell for numbing, but I got some bourbon. Which I think that bottle said Van Williams. Nice. It didn't say like. <laughs> <laughs> Classy. Van Williams. And she puts it on Giles. She's like, I think Giles left some supplies around. <laughs> Own your bourbon, girl. It's fine. You are grown. I, got, I had you a are, bunch. I are, need to get some more. Same. Uh, you are. Yeah, you're more than grown. Like, come on now. Just <laughs> don't, 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 don't put Giles's business out there like that. <laughs> right. Giles is not an alcoholic. He's just he likes maybe a glass of bourbon in the evening. Because all of y'all's bullshit. He has to deal with a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. You guys suck. <laughs> So they commence to drinking while the Scoobies decide they're going to, you know, Willow's going to go back to her old hacking days and try and pinpoint because they've decided that it's the trio and Buffy wants them found. But Xander is still like, I still think it's Spike. Shut up. (laughs) Shut up. You go sit in the corner. (laughs) Nobody cares what you think. (laughs) And we get a quick shot of the trio and the biggest waste of time. Yeah. Jonathan did all of this with all this chemistry set to do a basic locator spell. <sighs> Seems like a lot. Y'all don't know how to do a locator spell. Yeah. With the disc and right. a flame and a map. And I guess, <sighs> and so it like, it sets a map on fire showing them where something is. And yeah, like that doesn't, it seems like a lot. Like y'all did a lot. You took yeah. a lot of steps. <laughs> To do a very basic thing. Yeah, you're basic. And now Anya and Spike are tossing back the shots and chit-chatting a little bit. And, you know, she's trying to get him to say that she wishes, that he wishes something would happen to Xander. He's like, whatever you want, pet, you name it, I'll do it. Something gruesome, right. horrible, just tell me what you want. Yeah, and, but, you know, she starts going on and on. And the, more, and the drunker that they get, like, she's talking about, how all the pain that Xander caused her. And then he starts to like talk about Buffy and all the pain she caused him, uh, but without saying her name and without Anya caring about who he's talking about. Like she never wants just like, wait a minute. No. What are you talking? What are you talking about? <laughs> Cause by this point they're fucked up. Yeah. The and- words are starting to slur a little. They're making less and less sense. They start talking about how they haven't had good, a good tumble in a thousand years or so like yeah so was because the sex with sander bad was that is well, that a burn as well? well sort of i think but what i think what was saying what she was saying was that you know xander was supposed to have been a hit it and quit it like her plan was that she was going to you know use him for sex because she hadn't had a good tumble in a thousand years i got you. and and then didn't work out that way and spike was like yeah me too i thought you know i had to see what all the noise was about you know what and <laughs> still she, no, she's not like what are you talking who are you talking about that's probably like, i'm trying to tell you something i know <laughs> but then it gets distracted talking about her sexy dance 
Yeah, so she's about like... About his sexy dance. Yeah, she's like, uh, you know, then I fell in love with him and started, like, doing stupid shit and, like, do, doing stuff for him, trying to change myself to please him, and see if he cares about this, and da-da-da-da. Singing in the shower, doing my sexy dance. And Spike <laughs> goes, me too. And then, uh... Why now? Not, not, <laughs> not, not the dance. I have no dance. <laughs> but I have a question. Does Spike shower? And if so, where? Where? <laughs> because Angel showered. He was mm-hmm. very, very into showering. Yes, he was a very clean man, clean individual. <laughs> Where's he Spike? changes his clothes randomly, you know, every now and again, though. Right. Spike kind of wears the same thing for a long time <laughs> until I'm assuming it walks away on its own. Like, we haven't seen that red shirt. It, it left. It disintegrated. <laughs> but that's a lot of dippity do to have in your hair and not shower at least once a week. Yeah. And I'm really disappointed that we never got him out of the showers, like fresh out of the shower scene. Mm-hmm. It would be so funny. I mean, <laughs> little towel. Like, if- yeah, like we got plenty of those from Angel, like a yep. lot, like a lot. I, I've seen Angel come out of the shower more often than I needed to. And, than anyone else on the show. Yeah. And, and it just would have been funny every once in a while to like that he snuck into Buffy's house to shower. <laughs> that would be really funny what are you doing again he goes to the why he probably just right. goes to the why Ew. <laughs> no no which is worse not showering or him going to shower at the why right <sighs> so spike so, uh they spike goes on to admit about you know how he hates all the scoobies except anya <laughs> because she is straightforward she says it's on her mind and that's to be respected and you know Drew used to do the same thing. She was batshit crazy, but she still spoke her mind. <laughs> and she's the Anya's the only one of the Scoobies that he wouldn't bite if he had a chance to. <laughs> and he also makes so cute. I know. And she and they and they make a good point. She's like, you know, they hate me though. You know, nobody respects me. And he's like, they can't take us because they're all repressed and uptight. And we should have been dead hundreds of years ago. And you know, this world ain't ready for us, babe. Like it's not. It's not where we are. And in the meantime, Willow has tracked down multiple sources. It's not just one camera. She has found cameras at the double meet, at the bronze. And soon on they're going to find on one campus. <laughs> on campus. And while Spike and Anya have drank the entire bottle of Van Williams, <sighs> there's getting, only one shot left. Things are getting super sexy. Getting hot. Super sexy. He's giving her that look. They're sitting awfully close together. He's br- like he's holding up this last shot of whiskey and is like, you know, ladies last, you know, being real show roast. But as he's the weird, he's holding it very close, close enough to her bare shoulders mm-hmm. where just his like his pinky is just slightly brushing her shoulders. Yep. Just slightly. like where, where it could be accidental. It could be on purpose. Oh, no. <laughs> He bites his lip more than once. <laughs> and it goes from being kind of sexy to Anya gets really sad. Yeah. She gets real honest about how it's she can't sleep at night and how she keeps going on over everything, thinking that it's her fault. And She gets white girl drunk. <laughs> She was, or she was, just, it doesn't even have to be white girl drunk. It's just girl drunk. Right. Where you start out real happy. Right. It's that. And you end up in tears. Right. That fresh off a of breakup drunk is what that mm-hmm. is. It's like, okay, y'all need them. Fuck them. I'm best. Mm-hmm. I'm better off. Blah, blah, blah. And then like we get down to the last shot and it's like, I'm so lonely. It's my <laughs> fault. It was so my fault. What's but, wrong with you me? Know, we're not lucky enough to have a spike there. Nah. To like help pick up the pieces. To, it's uh, like, it's not your fault. To, You're beautiful. Uh, to like, cr- like cradle your face, <laughs> and like he's at, the way her lip just bounces when his finger kind of like mm. grazes across her, yeah. and she's just like, "Ha, ah, this is so wrong, <laughs> but I'm gonna do it anyway." I'm totally going to do it. Do this, <laughs> and I think Anya may have kissed the most men on the cast. Giles, Xander, Spike. Is there anybody else? She didn't get to Oz. She didn't get to Oz. She didn't get to Riley. Did she kiss Angel at any point? No, but no. I think she would have liked to. Yeah. I think that's it. And so they're, you know, they have a nice little kiss. And she's like, <sighs> no, no, no. What are we doing? What nice are we doing? This little kiss. Like the way that this rolls in, man. Like the whole, like before they even, it's just, 
Like, seriously, guys. <laughs> and he's like, we're not doing anything wrong. You're moving <laughs> on. And then they have a big kiss. And that look, though, that little mm-hmm. side, that his little mm-hmm. coy glance. And when she's like, just one thing. Will you show me your sexy dance? And he's like, <laughs> I'll show you mine. <laughs> and, then they get, and then they get go in for the kiss. This is like probably like top five hottest 30 seconds on Buffy. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's pretty good. And then like it keeps going and the tree it's intercut between the three different storylines that are going on. Right. You know, he yanks her up and puts her on his lap while the trio is trying to put out a fire they caused. While Willow is finding, uh oh, whoops, she has found the magic box camera. She found the magic box camera. It's like, oh shit! And then the dudes, the nerds, get the alarm that someone is in, someone's broken into their their whatevers, and they're like, oh my god, the camera! Somebody's found them. And it's like, shut them down, shut them all down. So they're and then they see what's going on on the magic box cam. So I love it. So they're frantically trying to shut everything down. <laughs> Willow's like, ho. Oh. <laughs> and like they're and they're and and they're all like, oh, like the boys stop in mid, like, who is well, that? Like, where is that? Is that? <laughs> like, what is that? Who is that? <laughs> so, like, and Willow's like, no, 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 don't come around here. Nobody come around. Don't nobody, nobody come around it. here. Why don't you just close it? Right. Yeah. Like Willow, you're a bad friend. You knew you're like, a bad friend. <laughs> unless you were trying to see how Spike got down, which underst I know you're you're a lesbian and all that, mm-hmm. but still, I'm sure we've we've all been curious. Right? <laughs> You've all been curious about how Spike gets down. So they both come around and Xander's just like, What is she what I think uh, what I don't What I'm most upset about is Spike leaving his coat on throughout all right? the whole time. <laughs> the whole time <laughs> and what willow sees is willow understands right away why xander's so upset right but she sees something in buffy's face that she doesn't get right she's like buffy's like shook she's real shook and that's when dawn comes in she's like hey everybody what's <laughs> going on and- what are we looking at <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> and it's only willow willow immediately grabs dawn's face and does and turns it away right <laughs> she's like no 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 don't not don't for your eyes be watching that. <laughs> and then everybody disperses all pissed off everybody's all yeah so xander's uh, got an axe from the weapons closet i think stormed. buffy went upstairs to pout she went outside in the back to pout like yeah, yeah like, which, pout. <laughs> which is surprising to me that that's <laughs> what her choice was i i because I, I thought that she like would have immediately gone to the magic box to be all sanctimonious and whatnot <laughs> but but no she's just like which cool which i i kind of cool. respect that i was, I was like mm-hmm. all right yes you're right you have no case here this has nothing you to told do him it. to move on right he moved on and like now so you don't love him you don't want him but nobody else can have him and this is what we get into like when you know xander rushes off and tries to murder spike he is as Mm -hmm. uh, as after spike and anya are finished and they have like a very awkward i really like willow's jean skirt they have this really awkward like i respect you thanks for the sad shag like kind of nod i'll I'll clean all this up right like you know i know this wasn't what we like it was kind of wrong but it was fun and we were just okay bye and so <laughs> spike, spike it would have been better if they had said any of the things that we just said but instead they don't say anything they say at nothing. all and they just kind of look at each other and nod yeah uh-huh. yep yeah uh-huh. Uh-huh. so don gets it. don gets it she follows buffy outside and it's like so your attitude lately it's been about spike <laughs> she understands right away yeah and she you know if you think about it buffy was right Mm -hmm. she tried to kill her friends a week ago they're gonna deal and with the exception of xander they deal (laughs) yeah he doesn't handle it well so don handles it very well they're all like you know yay let's not keep secrets anymore yay and then willow's like xander took an axe so xander goes to the magic box and as spike's leaving he tries to decapitate him and he just misses him I love Spike's shock face. It's so over the top. (laughs) His eyes like bulge out of his head and Xander's pissed at him. He's like, you're not going to fight back. And it's like, I've got a chip asshole. I can't. (laughs) Did you forget? Like I literally cannot fight you. Right. I wish I could. Right. I want to rip your head off. (laughs) And he tries to spite here. He tries to stake Spike 
and Anya stops him and Buffy stops. Mm-hmm. Every Buffy stops everybody. Right. And, and then, Xander is just disgusted with her. Xander really pisses me off in this entire this whole thing right here. Mm-hmm. So he's just like whipping on Spike. And Spike is you're right, he's not fighting back. He's just laying there, which makes me sad mm-hmm. that he's not even <sighs> and so You could at least push him, but he's gonna right. hurt. <laughs> All right. And so and Xander starts going off on Anya, talking about how you let that filthy, soulless, evil thing touch you. Like you disgust me. And you and at first Anya's apologizing. Like she's trying to explain and like, oh, it's just it's not even and then it hits and it and then finally, like as I'm saying, Don't you apologize to that mm-hmm. motherfucker? She hits her. It's like, wait a minute. You, you left, left me. me. <laughs> like, how dare you? How dare you? But again, she she gets all indignant and in his face, but then he he shuts her down even more. And right. he's like, you let that disgusting thing touch you. Right. And he's even like, you know, oh, you wanted to get back at me. This was the best way to do <laughs> what else. What I like is he's like, she's like, it's just happened. He was there. <laughs> so and Sanders like, so you had to. He was there like Mount Everest. And I'm thinking, yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> that's yeah. It. That's exactly. You didn't see it. You weren't there. <laughs> And he's like, I can't even look at you. You're disgusting because you had sex with that. And a up until this point, <laughs> Spike has been very quiet. Yes, he very. has not interrupted. He's he has barely, not said a he, word. He's barely moved from slumped position from when <laughs> Xander pushed him over. And <laughs> but he chooses this moment. Got it. We're like, to he's, chime in. He's like, I can't take it no more. Good enough for Buffy. <laughs> Buffy's like, oh, don't you bring me in this box. <laughs> and, and you kind of see, like, she's who you've been talking about all night long. Right. <laughs> the, the clarity that comes across Anya's face. And right. then, you know. And then Xander's like, don't you, don't you bring her, like, leave Buffy. Wait a minute, what? <laughs> and he, yeah, he looks at Buffy, who's like, Oh. Mm, it's not not true <laughs> and he's like I don't want to know any of this and he, <laughs> <laughs> and he storms off <laughs> and if I'm Anya I'm thinking I think you're more upset about the fact that Buffy was fucking Spike right, exactly. than I did right <laughs> it's just the way he, he throws a tantrum. Right. I don't want to know any of this. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure we didn't want you to know any of this either. So, no. you know, Man, we're all in the same boat here. And so uh, and then as he's storming off and Buffy goes off after him, Spike is like, you know what? Fuck that Xander. I wish. And Anya stops him. Mm-hmm. <sighs> and Buffy doesn't even really say anything. She's just like, I'm going home. <laughs> It's been a fucking day. It's been a fucking day. <laughs> I'm just going home. <laughs> Everyone's had a horrible night. Yeah, except one exception. Except so as Anya is literally and figuratively picking up the pieces of her shattered evening and life, uh, Willow is uh, gets a surprise visit from Tara, who just rolls in and just starts talking. Is like you know talking to her about how. Shit's not gonna be easy. You gotta fix what's broken. Like pick up the pieces. Like we gotta. Is there gonna be trust? Is it gonna be the same? Can we do this? And and, and Will is like, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can work it out. We can do it. Yeah, 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 yeah totally. It's like ah, we can't just you know have like coffee and expect. I mean, it's just done. It's gonna it's just talk going on. And then oh, yeah, we can work it. Out. And Will is just like, <laughs> <laughs> she's like a little puppy sitting pretty. Right. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Whatever you want. Whatever you want. Just give me the cookie. Give me the cookie. <laughs> <laughs> and finally Tara is just like can't we just skip all that and can't you just be kissing me right now and I want to cry I'm I know like, and I'm just saying well I was like yes that is the <laughs> one up right just, it's like, they have a wonderful kiss it's such a good kiss this is like one of my fa- most favorite makeup makeup mm-hmm. speeches like you know like oh like it's it's the music's all soft I know. And it's beautiful and this is why like I will this never, is why I, we hate Kennedy. Right. Why, why I will never buy Kennedy as any sort of love replacement, not even a flirtation nope. for Willow. <sighs> Don't like her. Never will. Nope. Don't care. Sorry. Nope. 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 Though, that, that, scene, Oz. <laughs> that scene right there. Yes. 
Ah. If Tara can't, if Tara's not in the picture, I want Willow with Oz. Right. There is no Kennedy. Nah, fuck that girl. <laughs> I just don't like her. I saw someone in a Facebook group asking why people didn't like her, and I have you watched? The I show? can't even pin point why it's not just that i don't like her for willow or with willow i just don't like her she's you're very... not faith you're not right like you're ugh, blah. i just don't like her she has this real holier than thou thing about her and like she had it from the from jump street it wasn't even like she earned that mm-hmm. that sort of spot and, it, and it's different from from faith right like faith yeah i mean space she had a hard <laughs> life she lived hard she played hard right but that's how the episode ends with our two favorite witches back together again. Yay. <clears throat> and you're right. At least there's a tiny bit of happiness in this because this is a depressing episode, but it has its funny moments. It, I mean, yeah, we're kind of I mean, it's it gets I guess the overall theme is a little depressing. But for the most mm-hmm. part, we get some of the better, sexier scenes of this entire series. Yeah. Come on now. Let's, <laughs> let's not let's not forget about that whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> you have heard my pick up for song of the week again it is sal palo rain by tom mcrae and we've had our two burns mm-hmm. and we only had two bodies dropped this week two vampires that buffy staked in the beginning but also if you want to count xander's fucking soul that was right that was that murdered. Was shat upon <laughs> was murdered <laughs> <laughs> Does it pass the Bechdel test? Yeah. It's like just uh, Willow and Tara alone talking about yeah. themselves. Talking about themselves. Otherwise, it's a lot of talk about Xander. It is. Yeah. The random trivia this week is that there was a lot of nerd references that the nerds were throwing around. They made four different references. They made a reference to episode one of Star Wars when Warren and the friends are, uh, they frequently reference Star Wars, but he shouts, no, shut it down, shut it all down. And that is just in a reference to uh, C-3PO shutting down the garbage smashers. Um, So there's actually a couple of references to Star Wars in this episode. Mm. Not just what these little nerds love their Star Wars as much as I do. And they reference not only A New Hope, but they also made reference to The Phantom Menace when Warren calls Jonathan a Padawan. And then they also had a reference to, he called him Short Round, Mm -hmm. which is a reference to Indiana Jones and Temple of Doom. And they made a reference to Babylon 5 when Andrew said he's got the same look on his face. The one he had that time I highlighted in his Babylon 5 novel. <laughs> he's going to tell on us. <laughs> he's going to tell it right before he told his mom. <laughs> he's going to rat us out. <laughs> and then the moral of the story is don't leave your girlfriend at the altar and assume you can still date. <laughs> right. <laughs> and, and yeah, and don't break up with somebody. I think you have the right to to know or care about who they're fucking after you've done so that too <laughs> Leave them alone. it's not the old business and that, exactly when the immortal words of salt and pepper <laughs> it's not the old business <laughs> let us know your thoughts on entropy you can record an mp3 file less than two minutes and email it to revisiting sunnydale at gmail.com we may play it on the air or you could also talk to us on twitter facebook and instagram next week the controversial episode of Scene Red. Ugh. Ugh. I forgot that was in the episode, too. I was more like, the sad episode, Scene Red. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you forgot that was in I this forgot episode. that was in that episode, too. <laughs> forgot they happened in the same episode. I don't remember what the sad part. Oh, that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Your shirt. <laughs> Damn, 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 damn. This is going to be a rough one to get through. Okay. This is going to be a rough one, and we are going to, it's a rough rest of the, you know, yeah. wonderful, wonderful things, including the return of Giles. Yeah, dude. Daddy's coming home. up, but <laughs> we got some trauma to get through first. Ugh. And y'all are not going to like what we have to say, most likely. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> probably not so until then you can subscribe follow and like us you can follow me camila on twitter at the underscore rugged angel or me marcel at mcr7338 thanks for listening and until next time 